Hello, we're Molly Mish. After 10 years exploring all there is to see in US, Canada, and Mexico, we built a camper out of a four-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter van and headed across the pond to continue our journeys in Europe. After enduring year-long self-imposed isolation in Croatia during the height of the pandemic, we are ready to resume our European adventures. This summer, we're headed to the Irish and British Isles, starting with the Republic of Ireland. Join us as we explore and discover the magic of the Emerald Isle. I don't know what it is, but it gets windier at night usually. The car was rocking and it rained again last night, but it's nice this morning. It's actually really sunny, sunnier than any time yesterday it was so today's actually uh quite a nice day to be here but we have to leave because last night when we were cooking dinner we ran out of propane which is completely shocking to us because in the past we've had our propane tank last anywhere between two to three months and we still will have a little bit of leftover before we went and got it refilled but this time we got it filled on we looked it was june 24th or something like that right 26 maybe and today is only like August 11th. So we're not even two months. In the past, it would last at least 50% longer, but not this time. For some reason, maybe the refill that we got wasn't um, full enough as the previous fills, or we just used a lot more, which is, which could definitely be the case because, you know, over the last year and a half, we've gotten really used to not eating out at all and we didn't eat out hardly ever except for on driving days we would buy some like quick pastry things and eat in the car while we drove but still it doesn't really quite explain why because when we're in Norway we never ate out either and our propane seemed to have lasted much longer then so I'm going to say that it was because uh we didn't get a full fill I think we only got filled to like maybe 70 80 percent which at some places that's what they recommend but anyways, we, however, did have a backup uh, portable camping stove that we used last night, which saved us. And we still have a little bit of fuel left and a little canister, enough to finish our dinner and enough to make coffee this morning. Rather than staying here longer and going swimming again, which was cool to do right here in this little lagoon area, because the water comes in and out during high tide and low tide. And you can, it's fun to kind of just float in it, going up and down. But instead of doing that again, we have to leave. We have to go buy another propane butane canister for our camp stove and we have to uh, try to find a place that can refill our propane bottle which we didn't know um, that we would have to do that until we got back in October so unfortunately we have to leave this place this place is pretty nice Made it to the town of Trey Lee, which is the closest town to where we were staying last night. And uh, there's a store right here that is like a sporting goods store. So we wanted to come and uh, pick up another butane propane bottle for our camp stove. But you guys are gonna think we're weird. We found out that there was a subway next door, and we're very excited about meatball sandwiches at Subway. And you might say. Well, Subway's everywhere, all over the world. Yes, that's true. We do have Subway in other parts of Europe too. But for some reason, the ones that we've been to don't have meatball marinara. But they do here in Ireland. How is it? Good. It tastes just like it? Yeah. Careful, it's don't trip. Different because I didn't get mayo in mine last time in America. You usually don't get mayo? But you like mayo now. Yeah. Luca? 
You don't like tomatoes. Tomatoes, but you need some vegetables. Yeah. Okay. I usually, I usually just get Not tomato sauce and meatballs. Well, I got a bunch of stuff on mine. Oh yeah. Tastes like America. Tastes like Walmart. Mm-hmm. I mean they do have This is what we used to eat all the time at Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, they have it in Walmart. And then we got chips with the five bucks a foot long here. Mm-mm. What is like probably works out closer to eight bucks. What are you gonna do? Yeah, is the World Atlantic Way symbol. Cash long Huang Yun Huang Il. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> oh God. Well, so this is Carrigafoyle Castle. Our friend over here, Gernot, we met four or five days ago now. Back in, we saw him back in. Uh, Kenmare, I think, is where we did laundry last. And uh, he gave us a few places to see, and this was one of them. And I wondered if he would be here when we came. And turns out he spent the night here last night, probably. He's just inside hanging out. He's been here before. So we're going to go check this place out for ourselves for the first time. Look at that. Cool, huh? They what are these the cannons battle. shooting at the castle? Maybe it's the battle. Yeah. That was the siege of the castle. The walk of the hole. So this is called the Shannon Estuary right here, huh? The walk of the hole. Rock of the hole. That's what it means. Is that what it means? Rock of the hole. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I think on high tide, this, uh, this sort of acts like a moat when it's high tide. So these are the flag-like stones, really thin, and they stack it. So it took a lot of effort to build because uh, each layer of the stone doesn't get you very much height. And this is probably, what do you think, that's like 40 feet probably, huh? There's probably steps for when it was still functioning. Maybe they made wooden steps back then? Oh, oh maybe there were steps that were detachable uh, so, so they could bring it in and attack. So it slowed the attack was down. Mm. short. Mine's so they made it so only they could get it. You guys got some ideas, man. Cool. Wow, that is super cool. Look at the roof. The roof is just slowly tilted rocks. I met at the very top. Uh -huh. And I think that's the way up. Man, the roof is made of rocks. Man, you can go on the roof. It's amazing. It's like an attic. You used to live here really fast. It looks like I would live here. Um, some rich guy. Okay. You see how they made all these stone headers on the top of these uh, these spaces? They use these thin layers of stone, and then in the middle there's a wedge. See that? Yeah. These are all tilted this way, these are all tilted this way, and then the, this middle one is a wedge. Once you jam the wedge in there, none of them can fall through. Mm -hmm. They're all like that. Look at it. Even this big one is like that. That's probably how they made this the ceiling too. You know, they build it up on both sides and in the middle there'll be a big wedge shaped stone. All of these all have the same wedge. 
technique. Not all the castles are big. This has got a pretty small footprint actually, but it's like three or four stories tall. And this lower level probably, I'm guessing, would have been right about there. So this is like a, this lower level has a pretty high ceiling. And then next levels. Well, maybe in total there were just two levels that were uh, that was underneath this roof. And they both have a pretty tall ceiling, looks like. And then maybe this is like a upper level balcony that looks down on here. It's pretty dark. Here's one of the rooms. I'm sure that this is not the original door. Looks like it though. It's much too new. You guys ready to climb up? No. Oh, I, I want to go there. Be safe. Mila, are you scared? You got a dead body. A car, can you stop? <laughs> Somebody was just up there. He would have said something. Daddy, let's go to the top. After we see every level first. Okay. Here we are on the second level balcony looking down. This is like a... Did this used to go somewhere? Or maybe that's just the outside. <laughs> this would have been a ceiling, an arch ceiling right here. So these walls are kind of curved in a little bit over here too. So this would have probably followed that shape and just made like a dome ceiling. Of course, it's collapsed since. All right, let's go up some more. What is this? This is like a dungeon room. Oh, they closed the door there. Oh no, maybe they just regrouted it. I guess everyone's living in a dungeon room. It's a pretty cool room. Yeah. These stairs are very thin. Yeah. This is amazing. You guys see these stairs? Can you stop? It's amazing how these stairs are carved out of stone. Look at each piece of this. It's incredible. Look at this part. Yeah. Oh, that's it's pretty scary. Actually. No, look. Look all the way up. Look how it spirals. Each each one of these stones must have taken forever. Oh my God. More rooms. All the rooms along the way. Look at that rock too, Mima. Look at that scared for running. No. No. Don't run. I'm not going in. Stop being dramatic. <laughs> I'm not going in that black window of death. Stop being dramatic. Okay, let me go first. If you're scared. <laughs> yeah, there's a room in here. That's a black it's very window dark. Of Can't see anything. Oh, it's moving in there. It's moving in there. Oh. There's our car. <laughs> Alright, let's go. All the way to the top. Look at the view from here. That's oh, windy. See the water from here? Estuaries over here on this side. Just a few more steps. We get to the very top. If you count all the half rooms, there's like six floors or something here. The door is blocked. That would make two things for all. Oh, you can't go. That's very skinny steps. That's it? Yeah, it's just a lot. Yeah? It's like the little balcony on the side. Can you get out there or no? No, it's locked. Oh. Let me see. Okay, you go down. Enough for one person at a time. It's probably dangerous so they don't want people going up there. It's very narrow. You can stick your head out. This is the top. All you can do is stick your head out of this little triangular hole here. That's the dingle peninsula right there where we just came from. Alright, going back down. No 
workmanship of this spiral staircase really is incredible. It looks like there's no fasteners of any kind whatsoever. It's just wedges of chiseled stone forming a spiral resting on the, uh, the round tower going straight up. Absolutely incredible. Carrigafoyle Castle. There you go. That's a little tour of Carrigafoyle Castle. We're going to move on today. We're going to try to get to uh, the place where we can try to fill up our propane bottle. What are you looking at, twin? <laughs> so today, after we left the castle, we went to Limerick. We went to the town of Limerick. We actually drove past the town of Limerick by about 10 to 15 miles or so to this uh, service station, gas station that has like a, like a propane fill-up. Uh, side of the building and there's a guy that runs it and uh gosh we got there like at four o'clock and the guy didn't show up until seven so we basically just hung out there had to take care of some banking stuff in the u.s so as you guys know that means that i stayed on hold for a bunch and got hung up on at least once after making about three or four different calls hopefully whatever i try to accomplish there got resolved at the end I won't know for a couple more days and finally when the guy came at seven o'clock uh, we're trying to get our propane bottle refilled last night when we were trying to cook halfway through our meal we ran out of propane and and luckily we had heard about this one this guy at the place that we went to that had a bunch of adapters but unfortunately he didn't have a US adapter for our bottle so we couldn't get our bottle filled. However, he did have a bottle that somebody had just given him. It's kind of old. It's a little bit rusty on the outside, but I think the integrity is still there. It was brand new, still had the plastic seal on top. We had to open it and it was full. It was full of propane or maybe it was butane. I'm not sure, like a propane butane mix. And um, we had an adapter that we bought last year in Spain from this guy that uh, happens to be made for it. It's only a six pound bottle. Our regular bottle is a 10 pounder, so it's a little bit smaller, but it should last us at least a month. And he just gave it to me for free. He's like, sorry, I can't fill your bottle. Somebody gave me this, so I'm gonna give it to you. That was fortunate. I uh, hooked it up, everything works. So we're good to go for now, except the only downside is I gotta figure out how to store this empty propane 10 pound propane bottle that we now apparently have to be carrying with us long story the short end is that we can cook now finally again and uh we found this place just this uh quiet little village halfway between limerick and uh the loop head lighthouse which is where we're headed tomorrow really quiet beautiful little spot sun is setting over there as you can see but well, this is basically just like a little dock a little pier and it's got a launch ramp right there there's another launch ramp over there there's twin the cats are free to run around because we feel like it's pretty safe it's at the end of a road so there's not going to be any through traffic people that are coming here are coming here to park and stop so we're letting them run around and roam 
So we'll stay here tonight and then we'll uh, head out tomorrow for the Loop Head Lighthouse. The inside of it is not open, but we should be able to explore the outside. And it's supposed to be very scenic. So looking forward to that. Anyways, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys are enjoying this tour through Ireland. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below because it appears our comments are back for good. It's finally back for good, it appears. So I'm looking forward to interacting with all you guys again down in the comments. Thank you.